Hi, today we're going to see how to create a Galaxy face logo in GIMP. I'm going to use two images. I will put the links of the images in the description box. So first we need to add an alpha channel to this image. So I'll right click on this layer, add an alpha channel. And now we're going to desaturate this layer, this image, go to colors, hue and saturation. Bring the saturation slider all the way down like this, press OK. And now we need to turn this image into a black and white image. So go to colors and then threshold like this. So as you can see, if you drag this black triangle to the right to increase the black color like this. So I think here it's OK. So press OK. So now if you want to remove these black color here, so take your paintbrush tool, make sure the foreground is white. And now just, so I'm going to remove this dot here, just in front of the eye. Now I'm increase the paintbrush size. So like this, I'm just going to paint here, so here. So now I'm going to use the select by color tool, left click to select the white color. So here, as you can see, there's some selection here. I will remove it, go to select, invert, take the paint brush again. And now let's paint over here like this. So now go to select none, and then the select by color tool again, left click here. So here it is. So we have selected the white color. So now we're going to delete it by pressing the delete key on the keyboard. So here it is. We have removed the white color. Go to select none. So here's our image here. So now we need to create a new layer. Click on this icon here, create a new layer like this. Press OK. Fill it with transparency. Press OK. And now let's switch between the foreground and background, make the background white. And now let's change the foreground to this light gray here. HTML notation is C2, C2, C2. Press OK. Take the gradient tool. The gradient name is foreground to background, RGB, FG to BG. And the shape is radial and then go to the middle and then just trace like this. So here, press enter. And now let's place it under the face here. So now take the scale tool, left click, select the face layer here, this one, left click on it, and then let's scale it. Let's scale it down like this, press the control key while scaling it to scale it proportionally. So here, I think it's okay, press enter. So here it is. Now, if you want to center it, we need to crop the layer to its content. So go to layer, crop to content. As you can see, it will just select what's inside it. it we'll crop it. Go to the alignment tool, select it. Make sure the align is relative to the image. Left click on the face here and then click on this icon it will align it horizontally so like this and then now go back to the face layer layer to image size like this and now let's bring our second image here it is the galaxy image just drag it over from the file it's up to you you can also open it from the file menu so here it is let's convert it you can also open it from file and then open. So like this, and now place it under the background layer. So like this, so here it is. If you want to remove these squares here, just take another tool like this. And now select the face layer, the first one, right click on it, and then alpha to selection. It will make selection of what's inside this layer and then hide it, and then go to your background layer, 
make sure it has an alpha channel right click and then there it is it has an alpha channel so that when we remove this selection from this layer it will show us what's the layer under it so now press the delete key on your keyboard so like this on the background layer the gradient layer here so as you can see go to select none so here it is it removed the shape of the selection from the background layer and it showed us the galaxy image so if you want to add some text here like this face select your text tool left click to create a new text box and now type your your text here here like this well, i will type it in capital letters so like this and now i'm going to center it select the alignment tool left click on it and then I'm going to center it horizontally like this or maybe it doesn't I think it's okay here so I'm going maybe to just drag it like this so I'm press the control key while moving the text to move it in the same way so I think it's okay here and then right click on the text layer alpha to selection and now hide the text layer here now let's select the background layer and now press the delete key on your keyboard and now here it is go to select none to remove the selection so here's our galaxy face logo so now if you want to change the colors here you can duplicate or add another image here so i'm going to duplicate this one i click on this icon here go to use the move tool then move it so as you can see it's changing here this layer is over the first one so here you can put the stars here on the hair on the eyes so like this so i'm going to delete it and maybe it's better think here I think this one is better so like this here so you can delete the face layer here by pressing on this X icon and the text layer right click here the first layer and then new from visible now you can delete all the layers under it here so here it is so now if you want to add a vignette to it go to filters light and shadow vignette so like this so i'm going to decrease the radius i'm going to decrease the intensity of the vignette here so you can check this preview icon here will show you what's before and after. So I think I'm going to increase it like this, decrease the effect here of the vignette. So here. So I think it's okay here. Press OK. So here it is. That's how we can create a Galaxy Face logo in game. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Until next time. Bye bye.